Hello Aries, thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for all the support. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. So please remember to take what you can use and leave what does not connect. The oracle cards go here which are all for you. The tarot cards over here which are the energies around you. But you could show up over there as well. So thank you for all the support. And welcome cross watchers. Feel free to vice versa, masculine and feminine. So the first one is 26 where you need to be Aries. Acknowledge how you are feeling. Have faith the universe will take care of a current situation by providing the best possible outcome for all involved. This is the blue dragon, which is poisonous. But mostly to me this means going with the flow. The blue dragon goes with the flow. It's um, So they want you to go with the flow right now. You're where you're supposed to be. 21. Enjoy the journey. So stay present in the flexible and many changes are going on for you and around you. These changes are not only good, but necessary. Bring your awareness into the now rather than staying in the past or the future. So this to me talks about something good is happening for you and they want you to notice it. They want you to know that you're starting a foundation that's going to last. Whatever's starting right now is going to grow into something big and they want you to be aware of it. Like, okay, I remember when it started, when it was, you know, this year, this month, and this was going on, and it's going to grow. So it makes me think of coral, and once a coral comes and builds a foundation, then other species can come and add to it. So something is going to grow bigger from whatever you're starting right now. So King of Wands is usually somebody who's very action oriented, somebody who's very physically attractive. A lot of people find the King of Wands very attractive. Two of Wands is making a decision concerning everybody. So that's up here again. Six of Swords. Six of Swords is moving away from something. Something that wasn't good for you, you, you went away from it. You're like, I'm not even going to deal with this. I'm out. Four of Cups is looking to the past and feeling sad about it. Looking for something that didn't work out. Could be a living arrangement, a love, a relationship, a job. The Hanged Woman. So there's some sort of delay which talks about this right here where you need to be. Something you want to be moving but something isn't moving right now in your life. You're getting kind of frustrated I feel. So the Emperor, this is you Aries. So there's some sort of decision you need to make concerning other people. It could be concerning a job situation, a family situation, and then Eight of Swords. So Eight of Swords talks about somebody moved away from get, being in their head. Somebody was struggling in their head concerning the situation and somebody's like, I can't do this anymore. I'm just going to quit worrying about it and just accept what happens is what I feel. So then you have King of Swords. So King of Swords is somebody wanting to communicate, somebody spying. Seven of Wands. So Seven of Wands is somebody having their wall up. Somebody will communicate, but only to specific people. And then Knight of Wands. So Knight of Wands is player energy. This is somebody who could be codependent, could be somebody you work with, could be a boss. And then Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups talks about feeling um, secure and strong, coming out of the stuck energy and feeling, changing it around to a positive thinking, that you're strong. The Hermit. So the Hermit is Virgo placement, clarifying the King of Swords. So this tells me you're going to get clarity. If you have some kind of thing where you need to debate with somebody or communicate with somebody, you're going to have clear thinking and clear communication during that um, situation. Alright, so now I'm switching to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck. And you have the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune tells me there's faith that something is changing. Your life is becoming more peaceful. And then strength could be Leo placement. Seven of Earth is waiting. Something that you're waiting and waiting, it seems like forever. And then we have Eight of Sky. 
So there's some sort of clarity that you realize um, thinking about it, overthinking about it, and worrying about it is not going to do any good for you. Talks about stress, worrying, um, talks about a place to live, pride and ego, mischievous friends, and denial. So let me go to the Oracle of E, and you'll pick up after yourself, 34, which talks about being nice in relationships. Like, don't lead somebody on you're not interested in. Don't leave somebody hanging that you know you're not going to call back, that sort of thing. And then just say no. This is no, like, I know this card is blue. So there's something you know, like, I feel like you know a relationship isn't going to work out, and they're asking you not to lead it on, just deal with it. Be neat and tidy about it. So the next one is Divine Connection number 8. So they're talking about loving yourself, knowing you're a good person, knowing everything is the way it's supposed to be in you, nothing's wrong, um, your thinking is on par, your, everything is good about you, and then heal thyself 24. So there's something that's broken within you, you feel, and they're asking you to heal yourself. It's something you can fix yourself a lot. Something within your thinking that you can write, that you know you shouldn't think that way, that you can change. So the next one for Oracle of E, or the Angels and Ancestors, is Direction Guardian, Choose Your Path. So this talks about you get to choose which way you want to go. You have different choices you can choose. I feel like you're going to be able to be moving here soon and choosing a nautical adventure, I feel. And then shallow and master, be graceful in movement and action. So this talks about going around people whose energy match yours. Trying to stay away from people whose energy are harsh to yours or you feel conflict with your energy because you're really sensitive that way and it's not going to do you one bit of good to go around people whose energy don't mix with yours. I feel like for a lot of you, your energy mixes very well with animals versus humans, I feel, so keep that in mind. Um, some of you can have a whole lot of pets, I feel. So, yes, so I hope this helps. Thank you so much. Bless you, Aries.